Guys, have you seen the video on TikTok on how people mine Bitcoin in a Tesla? Well, today we're gonna watch that video together, review it, and also I'm gonna try to mine in my Tesla Model Y, and we're gonna see how much money I'm gonna make and even if it's possible or not. And today's video is sponsored by Ridge Wallet. I actually have one in my pocket right now. This is the 14 karat version. I love it. It's not too shiny or anything and it fits all my credit cards that I need up to 12. It makes my life very easy wanting to just grab my wallet and just go and it doesn't take much space in my pocket. And my second favorite Ridge wallet is actually the Forged Ash. It has these like spots, the white spots and it's like almost 3D design. You have to see it in person. It's beautiful. and. I have a special 10% off to how much viewers in the link in the description below. Check out Ridge Wallet. B. Hayes, I think that's what his name is, a TikToker who made a video about mining in a Tesla. So let's watch that video together and I'm gonna give pointers as I watch it with you. Okay, we're starting with a green screen on the Tesla. As you know, you can change the video there for whatever you want. There's YouTube, there's web. So that's easy to just edit. Um, we cannot mine in a Tesla right now. There's no Windows, there's no Linux. So we cannot mine inside the Tesla itself yet, but let's see. All right, so he's charging the Tesla. There's no real need to charge the Tesla. There's already a battery. You can mine directly from the battery if you're using the power from the battery, but why not? All right, opening the trunk. Oh, okay. That's a big miner, but look at this. The fans are not running. You can see the power supply fans. They're not turning on. There's not even a cable plugged into the power supply. And the fans in the front is also not on. So obviously this miner is not turned on. But also, it's such a small space in the trunk. It's gonna be overheating in minutes and it's not gonna work uh, to mine such a big scale miner in a Tesla. This creator also posted another video on TikTok that shows you that it's not possible to mine on a Tesla. So I give him that credit that he posted two different videos. One showing you this kind of like, you know, oh, I'm mining in a Tesla. And another one is like, oh, it's not possible. So I'm giving him that credit. But today we're gonna actually mine in this Tesla. Here's the list of the equipment that I used for this mining operation. First, of course, I need a Tesla Model Y. Second thing I need is laptops. Why laptops? Because they don't consume as much power and I can pull power from the cigarette outlets. The first laptop is an Aorus 15 inch with an RTX 3080 graphics card. The second one is a tough laptop with a 3070 graphics card. The RTX 3080 mobile takes about 140 watts with the laptop on and the RTX 3070 takes about 125 watts when the laptop is on. The two other things I need is also inverters. Inverters convert 12 volts to 110. So I got two of them. Each one can support up to 300 watts and the ports can only about support about 150 watts. So we're not actually pulling all the way to 300, but I wanted to have a little bit of extra room to not burn my Tesla down. <laughs> okay, that's why I did it. All right, it's 21 bucks each. It's not that expensive. Now I have all the parts. Let's start mining. The Tesla has two cigarette plugs, one in the front and one in the back. And we're gonna use this, um, we're gonna use this inverter. You see that has a regular 110 volt outlets. We're gonna use this right here. We're gonna plug it into the cigarette lighter like this, boom. So this is done, that's number one. Here's the second cigarette plug for a car, 12 volts. We're gonna plug this in with another one of those inverters. So now we have two. Here is the two laptops we're gonna use today for mining. We're gonna plug them in right now. Starting with the 3070. We are now gonna plug the 3080 laptop. Has a little beep, but then it works. So I ended up plugging in the 3070 laptop to the front. It seems like the front has less power than the back because uh, when I plug in the 3080 laptop, it just doesn't work. So interesting fact, but let's go. All right, so we have two laptops, 3080 here and 3070. Both have power from the outlets of the Tesla. Now they need ethernet. So I'm gonna use my phone to create a hotspot for them to get Wi-Fi connection so I can go mine. So let's do it right now. Okay, I got ethernet going, I have power going. The next step is to charge it as a supercharger and then see 
how it works. All right, laptops are ready. Let's start the supercharger. We are charging at extremely high speeds. As you can see, it's keep going up. It will go up to 250 kilowatts. Remember, we are only taking about 150 watts each port. So maybe 300 watts is what we're using. This is 153,000 watts that we are charging. All right, time to start mining. Let's start with the 3080. It's a bit noisy because of the fans of the supercharger and the 3070. So they're both mining. Let's see how much they get. All right, we are up and running. We are making $3.23 on the 3080 laptop and $2.97 on the 3070 laptop. Together $6.20 per day or about $190 to $200 a month on uh, running miners in the back of your Tesla. Um, that's pretty impressive actually and uh, my car is almost full. Mine we are using NiceHash today which is a free to use to download software that mines algorithms, all kind of different algorithms. I'll show you here is a list of them um, and it chooses the best one to mine out of the 3070 as you can see here. It chooses the best one to mine at the time, mines it and pays you in a Bitcoin and you can also then pull it out to your Coinbase account or convert it to cash or whatever you want with your profits from mining. Unfortunately, there's no way to install NiceHash on this or Linux or Windows. If you do, maybe one day we'll be able to mine on the software or hardware on the Tesla. Um, I don't think Elon Musk will like it because it's basically wear and tear on the chip and also consumes power, you know, we're talking about 300, 400 watts, uh, whatever it's the amount is, it's gonna consume. So it's not gonna like it. Uh, Elon is not gonna approve or let that something like that happen. But still cool feature um, to think about in the future, mining on a Tesla, if someone hacks it one day. The mining work in my Tesla Model Y perfectly, awesome. Next, I wanna try to use the mining in a Tesla Cybertruck because the Cybertruck have five kilowatts of power, 5,000 watts. I can put a big miner in there and then use the supercharger to charge the Tesla and mine at the same time. So I can't wait for it to come out to try it out. Shout out to Test Camp that gave me this cool mattress for the Tesla. It's perfectly fits, which is pretty nice. And, it, and everything, the foam itself is custom cut here on the sides and uh, it fits perfectly in the trunk, under the trunk, so that's pretty cool. I'll also add them in the link below. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to see that Cybertruck video when it's gonna come out. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.